out there in YouTube land. My name is Forrest. Obviously, you should know that by now. This is my channel. Uh, so tonight is Scion Night, meaning uh, pretty much it's a event. So anybody who owns a Scion and any passengers in their car with an uh, unwrapped gift get to come into the park for free. It's been known for being people for people getting drunk and having wild shenanigans. But because in honor of that, I figured I would give you a walkthrough of what I would need um, in a night of haunt, what I would need to do to get everything done. Now, um, uh, several things have changed, I think. I don't know if I've ex really explained this to anybody. Um, I did get moved. I'm no longer in the tar and feather room in the same asylum. I'm actually now in the club room, the Red Clock Club. After um, pretty much the final scene, um, I was not a big fan of the strobe light, strobing within that room, so I decided to move on, and I like that room. That is my favorite room. I love to dance. I love to party. That is the room I want to be in. So, um, so here we go. I'm going to show you off what I need to have a successful hunt night. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to need is obviously my backpack. So this is an OGO backpack that I actually got from work. Um, there's a lot of pockets in it. It keeps a lot of space in it. Um, now, obviously, I do have a lot of stuff in there as well. Um, so I will I use as much space as I have. To officially start off, uh, one of the few things I definitely need is going to be my hairspray and my hairbrush. Uh, the reason why is because makeup, um, even though the makeup department does do my makeup, they do not do my hair. So I gotta, um, I'll do, I usually do my makeup before I leave, or my hair before I leave in hairspray, or just as I'm getting there before my makeup time. So, hairbrush and makeup, or hairbrush and hairspray. This is the Suave Extreme Hold. I absolutely love this one. Um, now, sometimes because I do sweat a lot, um, a lot of the, a lot of times the makeup or the hairspray does not come undone. That's why I always take it with me so I can keep spraying until I go. Um, pens and stylus. Uh, stylus is for my other job. Pens is for anything. Anytime I need to like fill out something or sign something, I have those ready to go. Um, then the next thing is definitely in keeping in calm with my um, hygiene. So here is uh, my Colgate toothpaste, my toothbrush, and my deodorant because a stinky monster is. Um, a monster you don't want to be around. So you always have to keep these around. Um, a lot of times because I'm coming from work straight to haunt, I'll have all those ready to go. I'll kind of get everything nice and done and then I'm nice and smelly. Nice and pretty smelly. Um, then we have Five Hour Energy and Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. Five Hour Energy is obviously, um, I'm working five, five till one thirty every night so that is may help. I this is the ones I've, I've this is the only one I bought in this year. I haven't used it yet, um, so hopefully I may not have to use it, but that's fine. Um, then we have the Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. Um, a lot of times the wind and stuff is going to be uh, is going to be a complete biatch. So to make sure that my lips stay moisturized, I use the lip shimmer. It definitely does help. Uh, keeping in line with my height with my hygiene, I use uh, vitamin C, potassium gluconate, and vitamin B12. Uh, the two yellow bottles are from Nature Made. This is a generic store brand from Target. Um, potassium gluconate um, helps better, um, gives you better uh, muscle and nerve health. So I move a lot, I'm very active, um, and I jump and move all this stuff. So I definitely use this to keep it going. Uh, C, to make sure that my immune system is up and running and I don't get sick very easily. And the B12 is to make sure my metabolism is being regulated because again, I do move a lot and I do eat a lot. So this will help kickstart my metabolism during hot season. It's definitely it's helped. Um, uh, then the next things I use are honey. Um, and now usually I mix this with honey and lemon or smart water and lemon juice with this. Uh, so this one's from Target. If you can't tell, if you're familiar with Target, that's Target Brown. This one was homemade by one of my coworkers. Um, this one's a lot thicker than this one and this one has more sugar than this one. So I've yet to mix this one with, um, with, my, with my little mixture. Um, I may have to try it just to see how it goes. Um, this one I've done a lot, it's just, it's easier, It's it moves quicker through the system, I think. Um, and your vocal flaps, when your um, your voice is raspy, they don't stick. It's a good thing if they're sticking. So, um, the honey helps keep the stick in your in your um, vocal flaps. So I'm gonna pack this now. Next one is the Sharpie. Now the reason why I need the Sharpie is actually for these. These are my shoes. Um, I haven't used these in a couple nights. I've been actually using my other work shoes um, and the Sharpie is to help blacken everything out. Um, so it provides somewhat of a dusty look, but sometimes I like to just completely black them, blacken them out. So I got a new one. Um, I actually do have to get uh, 
uh, foot pads for these because my heels, um, I use my, I stand on my heels a lot. And I'm very heavy on my heels. So these um, have actually hurt me, um, just provided more pain. So um, more flaps would definitely help. So and the next thing I'm gonna need is Febreze. It's very important because a lot of times I do sweat. So does every monster. It means if you are sweating, you are doing your job. Mm. Um, so to make sure that your costume is not smelly, there's that. Um, one of the other things too is that costume or wardrobe. I switched the two to costuming is Disney, wardrobe is not. Um, but wardrobe only does um, laundry once a week. And that is going to be on after Sunday. So um, the day after our last day of haunt, we don't get to use this, but every other day we have to make sure that these kinds of smelling. I always take it, I always grab my costume, lay them or lay, hang them up, spray them up so that when I get them on, they're actually nice and smelly and they don't smell like sweat. Now the next thing I need are, there depends on the weather of the night, of course. So I've got a tank top or a long sleeve. Uh, with these ones, this is inside out, so don't hang me. Um, so these help, obviously, um, you don't want most of the sweat going on your costume, so you'd rather hit th have this hit first than the costume. So depending on the weather, I will usually wear this to keep um, to keep me nice and warm. Um, we have a lot of girls in our room that do wear them, um, at least underneath the dress, because it's they get really hot in there. So um, depending on the weather, I usually will, I will always pack two of these and one of this, because this is the only one I have. But usually with these ones, I can get more and be able to figure these out. And last but not least um, are going to be gloves. I always carry two sets with me because depending on the night, it depends on how much damage I'm going to use. I usually wear both anyways, um, so that way you can actually, because I like to bang on walls, so the more padding I have, the better my hands are going to be. Um, at making sure I don't get hurt. So uh, to get an idea of what they look like, I'm gonna put them on so you can see them. So these are what they look like with both pairs on. Now you may notice uh, there is actually, here we show them to the light. These areas right here are the extra padding as well. So the more I bang, the more I bang, the, the less it's gonna hurt for me. Um, it does help, does keep my hands nice and warm because it's two layers. Um, they do have pull tabs. On on and on both ends. Uh, this that's the tab. Or no, this is the pull tab. So you just pull them up, and it helps pull them in. I usually use them a lot when people are coming in. I just go and move the fingers. It's definitely very helpful. Um, and because I hold a glove too, or because I hold a mask, I can hold these and have no problem with carrying them. I usually carry them like this, so it adds a little bit of like elegance to it. I think um, that's it. Um, so that's it, so pretty much the glue. Now one thing I d I'm not using this year, and I was using a little, I was using it at the start of the season, but I wasn't using it. Um, this is gonna be some baby powder. This is from Equate. Um, any normal baby powder would work very well. Reason why we use this one is because if you are wearing a mask and you sweat a lot, um, you always wear a hot cover, so it's like a, it's just a simple bandana that you put in there. Um, and then you got, you got this. This will help keep the mask from getting completely soaking wet and it's less time wiping down everything. And if you're wearing blackout or makeup, patting it out will do it. Um, actually, this year I was doing I was doing blackout makeup because I was being only seen from here, here, here up. So I do the blackout, my hair, and then I would lay, I'd put, um, I do a layer of this and then a layer of hairspray. Hairspray does, believe it or not, actually um, helps keep the makeup nice and set. Okay, so that's as much as you need. That's as much as that I need for my bag. Please remember that uh, some other monsters do different things, and depending on the season, depends on what things you're gonna need. Now, obviously, last year I did use a haunt box, and I'll show you that. That's what it, this is what it looks like. And some people use bigger stuff. Um, Stanley has a big amount of mobile uh, mobile um, tool chests, so that way a lot of people bring more. Um, so you know, tape, spray paint, and all props and all this other awesome stuff, um, eye contact lists, they have everything. So um, this is one thing that definitely is better for me. I may actually get another backpack, so I have something for work, and I have something for here, or for haunt. Um, we are almost done, so we're about halfway through, literally like halfway through, um, fourth week already, my goodness. So hopefully you guys can come out and enjoy. Um, and that's about it, see you guys in the fog.